There we go, leopard, leopard, everyone. <laughs> hold on, hold on. There we go. Oh, don't move off. Just running off, I'm not sure. Let's have a look. Wow, look at that. There it goes. There are two, there are two leopards here. One moving off to the right over there. Oh, that looks like... Oh, another one to the left of this large tree here, Craig. There was another one just moving through. The, there we go. There we go. There's the other one. <laughs> Fantastic. So our idea and plan of coming to have a look in this area to see if these leopards are still around. Looks like it's paid off. Now, again, there are two leopards. I couldn't get a good view. That looks like a sure it's a bit far for me to tell, but it looks like a male. Can you tell Craig? It's hard. Young male perhaps. Oh what a nice surprise. Just while we were speaking about leopards and intuition. And having a feeling that we might bump into something. <laughs> Exquisite bliss, you say. There is our popcorn smell. Yeah, looks like it. Oh, this is wonderful. What a nice surprise. Now, the other one disappeared just over that little mound. Um, now, you know what, I think these leopards may, may possibly have come to drink in this area and then they just crossed back over. Now this is our southern boundary, this leads into Little Gauri. Um and I think that's exactly what they've done. I think they've uh, come to potentially have a drink at one of the water holes which is just on our side and they've moved back down across there. Isn't that a lovely view? <laughs> this is this is great. Now, I haven't I haven't seen leopard for for a while or since I was last. Uh, the, the actually the last time I saw the leopard, I was more or less in the same area. Oh, there we go. Look. Please stay out there for us. Oh no. Just trying to see if I can spot the other leopard. Maybe it might head back this way. That would be wonderful. Can you still just see it there? I'm just going to hold on a second and then I'll move again. Yes, uh, Dina, this is pretty much the exact area that we had the leopard and the hyena last night. Um, as I said, the, there's a good chance that they might still be in this area. Let's just have a look from here, maybe, Craig? I don't know. So, Dina, yeah, this is the exact space spot that these leopards were in yesterday, apparently. Um, Craig was here with Ellie. No, I don't see them now. It looks like they've disappeared just over that little mound at the back, unfortunately. I'm going to keep an eye out um, just to see if they... Um, just to see if they do do come back this side um, and again I'm not I'm not sure which leopards these are I don't want to make a call just yet it was a bit far fleeting glimpse of the one leopard and then the other one that uh, hung around there so I'm not sure and we'll wait and see maybe they come out again and we can be sure and have a proper look before we speculate it, as to who it is um, as I was saying the last time I was in this area or last time I saw a leopard was not far from here 
and that's when I bent the steering rod of the vehicle. And uh, we couldn't follow them. Tristan ended up seeing it was Tandy and her, uh, and her male cub. And, uh, Tandy and Tamba, I believe it was, yeah. Anyway, speaking of Tristan, let's head back to him, find out how his lion tracking's going. I'm going to wait and see if these leopards come out.